So I was in year seven in secondary school, so probably about like 13, 13, yeah. Um, and it was one of my closest friends. It was something very minor, like we were in, like I think we were in French class and it was very like, oh, I think I'm gay. And then uh, by the time I had a girlfriend, um, uh, obviously it was it's not like a massive like like you're not married like it's a high school relationship we were 13 but um so it was a bit of a, a scandal if you will um so i was kind of like but, well the girl i told she was like oh my god like i've got a gay best friend now and the whole stereotype but she then i spoke to my girlfriend about it and um, she was like oh maybe you're bi um but this is the first time like i'd been like or maybe I am, maybe I aren't anything other than the, the heteronormative. Um, and so then I'd, I'd spent so long being like, no, I'm gay. And then they were like, but maybe you're bi. So there were so many different like words being thrown around and I was like, I've got so much to figure out. Um, but it wasn't, everybody was very accepting um, then. Um, but then I, after like a, a month of like, telling my friends about it, like my close group of friends at school. Um, I came out to my grandmother um, th at the same age, um, who had been my primary carer since I was four. Um, and I was very nervous. I wrote it down on a post-it note and said, uh, it just said, I'm bi. And I just gave it her. And um, she was like, what does this mean? I don't, I'd like, she, she's very old fashioned. She didn't understand. And I said, um, I think I like girls and boys. And this was the first time since telling anybody that I thought maybe I wasn't straight. Everybody else had been like, oh yeah, like they're quite supportive. But my grandmother being old fashioned, not in a, I think it was more of an ignorance. She was like, oh no, it's a phase. Because she said that my dad had been through the same thing and like, oh, all boys do this. Um, so I was kind of like, oh yeah, maybe I'm not, I'm straight. And then went back into my like, I, I went on to have more girlfriends and um, went back into my bubble until I was 15 in like year 10 um, and like the beginning of year 11 um, where I first got, when I had my first boyfriend um, and I had to do the whole coming out again, um, which was harder the second time because um, people were older, we'd learned about it, people had, like there was more gay people and um, like that had come out and things. Um, and people like people get bullied for stuff like that at that age whereas before it was like oh yeah cute and um so yeah i kind of got forced back to be like no you're you're straight and then came out a second time and it was definitely harder the second time than it was when i was younger um because like i had to like go through like telling family and things like that um i mean i don't agree with the concept of coming out because it just it just adds that like heteronormative lifestyle where it's like oh i'm i'm abnormal as such i'm gonna have to like announce that to you